welcome back to 2A Wolf and hope everybody had a good Memorial weekend. Um, a couple of things that I did. So remember the satellite dishes up on the roof? So I got one of them down, I'll show you. Um, yeah, I just took it apart the best way I knew how, which is basically to start from the top and work your way down. So just unbolted it from the plate. It kind of sat like that. So, anyways, took the dish off, unbolted that, so I got that off, and <clears throat> still had some of these cables. Okay. That cable's done. There was one on the other side, too. Oh, and I did put, I did go ahead and put the big light bar up on top, did that. Here's this other cable, but I don't remember if I got it. Oh, yeah, I guess I did. Okay, another cable light. And we did get the screen all set up. So we put the big screen, if you can see that anyways. So that way when we have the roll-up door up, we can have a big screen. So and it just goes on Velcro. So it works out pretty good. We tried it a couple of times, you know, walking in and out, but we don't hardly come out this way anyways. So, and when we, when we drive, we'll just take it off, fold it up, put it in one of the cubby holes, probably that one right there, which works out good. Yeah. Okay, let's just keep moving forward. Now I was all excited about getting the small satellite dish out. I unbolted this one. This is probably got every bit of four feet in diameter, but it's got the steel plate. This thing weighs a little more than what I thought. And I didn't want to just shove it off the side of the truck. I suppose I could. Anyways, I grabbed my old rope bag and stuff. So I'm going to see if I can rig up something and do a little more controlled descent because um, I do have the eaves up here while it's not real strong but it's enough to probably you know slide it down the side of the truck or something I don't know anyways this is um, I think 12 millimeter rope it's like rated at 9,000 pounds it's my old rescue rope that I had many years ago. I don't think it'll break. I've been keeping it in pretty good shape. So, yeah, I guess I'll just try to rig it up somehow. See if I can lift it at all. I was even thinking if, even if I can suspend it up high enough, then I can just drive the truck out from underneath it, then do it that way. Um, but anyways, I start, I seen this flexing a little bit so I don't think I'm gonna try it on this new new thing I'm gonna back the truck up and throw it off into the driveway it is what it is right Success. One of the other things that we were talking about, so it would be nice if these steps, because they're the accordion, but they don't swing underneath. It would be nice if it did that. That way you don't have to stow them inside. They would just swing underneath, and when you're ready, you just unhook it, swing it out, pull it out. So I'm going to look at that and see if there's a way to do it. Okay, I think I figured it out. So I unbolted the front plate and I put it right here. So that'll change 
the step by three inches, which is not bad, I guess, right? Shouldn't be a big deal. And then if I, if I can bolt that right on this lip, which might be close, may have to move that in. No, I don't necessarily want to move it in. Anyways, uh, I'll give that a shot and see if that works. Okay, I just thought of something. So I got it, I got this, got it mounted underneath, so that works. I'm trying to think of a way uh, to keep it up. And, you know, and it's got a, it's got a safety cable on it, so even if it swung down, it's not going to hit the ground, which is nice. But I had some of these trolley track, they hang like this and they hold in, you know, the trolley track stuff. I have some extra one of these and I was thinking if I put that up like that, because see, I can still make this smaller. I can accordion it. So... I think I, and then that way, I don't know how to show you without, that's going to fall. Anyways, this part, the bar, would go in there and just sit there. It could bounce around all at once, but it can't come out because you have to collapse that to get it to come out. So if I put that in the right spot, I collapse it all the way and then extend expand it, I guess that's the word, expand it into this stirrup. And then when I want to take it out, I just lift up, collapse it a little bit, and it'll fall right out. Okay, I think this will work. I'll try to do it with one hand. So I'm gonna swing that up. Okay, I'm gonna collapse it a little bit. I'm gonna swing that up and out. Cable's tight, and it can't go anywhere. I mean, it can bounce up and down. I can always put a piece of rubber in there, and then take it down. I just pick it up. Might be hard to do it with one hand, but pick it up, collapse it, swings out, put it on the ground. I think that'll work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drill it and nail it. Okay, I put a rubber baby buggy bumper up in there. So that way as it moves around. I'm just gonna do one, not two. It didn't make sense to do in two. I was gonna do one over there, but this will work out really good. Pull that out. Uh -oh. oh, cable. I was gonna say, wait a second, why is it not coming out? Voila. Okay. Let's see if anything breaks. I'd rather happen to me than somebody else. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, there we go. Nice. Then we'll just fold it up. Swing it in place. And push. Done. All right, last rooftop removal challenge. This is called a night scan, Chief. And what it is, so this raises up, telescopes up, and then it also has these servers to adjust the, the lights. These are probably 500 watt work lights. And um, yeah, so I was gonna take it apart and find out how to get it off the roof. Took the covers off and there is four bolts that come from the inside and I think I know where those are because there's four holes in the ceiling that I can see bolts. So I think those four bolts hold this on. So climb down, take those off and see if I can cut that silicone and get this monster thing off here. <sighs> Another heavy item. 
But uh, yeah, they had it silicone down to the floor or the ceiling roof. And yeah, there's water underneath it. So I don't know how good a ceiling job they did, but it'll all have to be cleaned up and resealed. So we plan on cleaning the roof anyways, and then uh, putting rubber coating over the whole thing. Just rubber coat the shit out of it. So, yeah, I guess I'll just tie some rope to it and lower it to the ground, I guess. Well, got a lot of things done, that's for sure. Um, gonna keep moving forward, but we're gonna take this out for the maiden voyage, so that, that's gonna be cool. Um, oh. Oh. Really happy the way things are turning out. I'm, I'm just tickled to death, I'm really excited. So, anyways. Thanks for following along. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure you leave them down below. And I'll see you next time on Two-Way Wolf.